Hi everyone. I'm assuming that most of you know who I am if you're seeing this on one of my social media platforms. Um, just in case there's anyone out there who doesn't know who I am, my name is Alicia Post and I'm an artist and yoga teacher. And today's a really special day for me because I'm teaching my very first um, yoga chakra flow class. And the reason why this is so special for me is because my introduction to yoga was because of me starting to learn and have an interest in the chakra system itself. And so if you're not familiar with what that is, that's okay. But I wanted to share my story of how I got into yoga and when it began because it was one of the most amazing synchronistic moments of my entire life. And I love to tell people this um, because it's all about finding your flow through life, really. And there's so much magic that is around us in things that we can see if we're open to it and if our awareness is in flow with our life. And so here's, here's my um, story about what happened to me and how I came to find yoga. Um, so back in 2010, I was working at a job that wasn't really good for me. It was very stressful very time consuming, very demanding. Um, it affected me emotionally, mentally, physically. It was just completely exhausting and draining. And I was a pharmacy technician for a company. And I've always been creative because my background is in art. And at the time I just had my associate degree in fine art. And I always had an interest in medicine as well. I actually, before deciding to become an artist, I had an interest in either studying genetics and becoming a geneticist or OBGYN, um, female reproductive health. And so when I ended up going into the art field, it was kind of like, it was almost like an ego thing for me, I think, because it felt good for me to be able to draw something that looked like the photograph. And so by drawing uh, portraits of people and making art, it made me feel good. It made me feel special that I could do something like that. And so rather than going down the medical path, I, I really, I really, if I'm being honest, I think it was because, um, because I felt good and it helped my self-esteem, which was actually really, really low for the majority of the first quarter of my life. And so, so at the time I'm working in the pharmaceutical field, loved the knowledge and everything, but the job itself was very stressful, um, very, very stressful. And so the day prior to working on this specific day, I had gone to Barnes and Noble and I was looking for some sort of book um, about the chakras. And I had heard about the chakras via my cousin, Kristen, who's a myofascial release therapist. She was telling me all about Reiki and she was telling me about like the chakra system, the meridians and the body and all of that in my early 20s sounded like, what is all this? I had never heard of it before and it just sounded so cool and magical and just um, eccentric, which I was already kind of that way because I was an artist. And so I decided to go find some kind of a book on it so that I could learn more about the chakra system. And so I did. And the book that I found was written by Anodia Judith. And it was actually this book right here, Wheels of Life, and a guide to the chakra system. And it was really a cool book for me to find with my initial journey and in learning about all of this because the book specifically was it broke down each chakra and then it would have like color associations. So things that I could visualize um, which I loved. And there was also sections in the book that talked about different yoga poses that correlated with each of the different chakras, which also correlated with different systems, health systems in our body. And so it was like this artistic visualization that I could do, but then also it broke it down scientifically and how they relate to different systems in our body. 
And so I was all about it and I hadn't had a chance to read too much because I had just bought it the day before. The book was actually sitting on the passenger seat of my car that day. And so there I was working at the pharmacy and the pharmacist I was working with at the time, um, both of us were just kind of complaining about our job and just how stressful it was and just um, took so much time away. And it was a really nice day outside and both of us, all we wanted to do was go outside and enjoy the weather. And so we're just really just complaining the whole day. And he said to me, he said, you know, if you could do anything, if you could do anything at all for work, no questions asked, what would you do? And without hesitation, I said, I think that maybe I would like to be a yoga instructor or something like that to where I could go to work every day and be calm and centered and feel good, but then also deliver that kind of experience to those that take my classes and just create an environment to where people can just enjoy themselves, which is the total opposite of where I was at the time working in a pharmacy. So he asked me, he said, have you ever taken a yoga class? And I hadn't. I had never taken a yoga class, I knew about it, and it was in my mind, I was thinking about it because of the book, because of the book I had, and it showed how the chakras relate to yoga postures. And so I said, no, I've, I've never taken a class, um, but I was interested, and I told him I should look up, you know, places around here in the town I lived at at the time to see if there's anyone teaching. I, I, I had no idea because I had never done it. And so that was my plan. After work, I was going to do some Google searches and see if I could find some kind of class. So some out time goes by and I'm at the pharmacy counter. I'm counting the pills, getting people's prescriptions ready. And this woman came to the pharmacy drop off window. And so I walked over uh, around the counter and I said, how can I help you? And I assumed she was dropping off a prescription, but she wasn't. Um, she was actually looking for a cough and cold medication that contains Sudafed. And so all of those medications are regulated by the FDA. And so I had to sell it to her at the register and get her driver's license to enter into our system. And so, but I noticed the shirt she was wearing and I don't remember what it said now, but at the time it stood out to me because it seemed like a very deep, like philosophical type of saying. And that's where I was at the time. And so, and normally I would never engage with customers outside of how can I help you? When would you like to pick up this prescription? Just all the basic information because we're so busy. And, but I, I decided to ask her and I said, what does your shirt mean? And she looked down at her shirt and she looked back at me and she said, oh, I don't, I don't really know. I got it when I was in New Orleans. And I thought, okay, <laughs> it was pretty specific to not know, but I was like, all right. And so I said, well, I can help you down at the register. So we walked over to the register, got her driver's license, grabbed the medication she needed, filled out all the forms and everything. And then when it was time to pay, she reached her arm out to pay me. And I noticed this tattoo on her forearm. And it was all red and it looked similar to some of the symbols I saw in that book that I had in my car. And so I, I gave her her money and her change and everything. And then I asked her again, <laughs> engaging with her outside of just the basic. Um, I said, what does your tattoo mean? Is that connected to the root chakra? And she looked down at her arm and then she looked back at me with this like look on her face, like confused about what I just said. And she said, no, it's not, it's not the chakra, but it's a meditation symbol. And I said, oh, okay. And then that was it. And then um, she went about her day. And then I went back to the counter, started counting up my medications for people. And then about 15, 20 minutes later, she comes back to the counter and I had noticed that she actually left her grocery list there. And so I grabbed it and I walked over there and I said, oh, did you forget your grocery list? And she grabbed it from me and she said, actually, no, the reason I was coming back here is because I can't believe 
that someone your age in Bourbon A, Illinois, knows about the chakra system. And she said, I just wanted to let you know, if you're interested, I'm a yoga instructor and I teach yoga through the chakras every Monday night at the Bourbon A Park District. And my jaw dropped in that moment. I was just like, what? <laughs> like, I could not believe it. The pharmacist that was there looked at me and we both just looked at each other like, are you kidding me right now? Like, how is this even possible? And so he walked over to the counter and both of us told her what had happened that day, how I was talking about how I, I don't know, maybe someday could be a yoga teacher. Um, but even at the time, I didn't realize just how significant it was because she specifically taught yoga through the chakras, which is a specialty type of yoga class that I'll actually be starting teaching tonight for the first time 13 years after meeting her. And I've never heard of any other teacher teaching it since then. I've taken classes with so many teachers. Um, just the fact that that was the class that she was teaching was just so like, it was like I got hit with this tidal wave of like, time to wake up. This is what you should be doing. And it's like divine synchronicity is all I can c call it because it's just that crazy. <laughs> and so, yeah. And so that was on a Sunday. And then immediately the next day I signed up for her, um, her, week session of all of those classes and started the next day. And so, yeah, I just, I love telling people that story because I do feel like there is, you know, I don't pretend to know what happens outside of ourselves and our decisions and our, the chance encounters that we may experience, but I do believe that life will show you things like give you little hints and clues and if you're paying attention it can help guide you into living the life that you really want to be living and it takes time you know i i met her back in 2010 i didn't get my first yoga teacher training until 2015 and just this past november did i really start teaching regularly as a yoga instructor and so that's my story about how I came to find yoga and healing. And I really had no idea at the time how much it was going to impact my life in a really beneficial way. But I'm so glad and thankful for that day that I met her because it started this whole another section of my life that's all about healing and helping others and just doing making decisions from that point forward to get me to the place I am today. And so if any of you are ever interested in taking classes with me, send me a message or just comment below and I can give you all the information you need to start taking classes with me. So enjoy the rest of your day and thank you all for listening. Bye.